Welcome back. <clears throat> so, we left our intrepid adventurers on the moon with Sam Parker with somebody's arm around their neck. Is it an arm in a suit? Yes. Parker? Parker, how's it going? Um, presumably, I can't just radio. I can't easily radio if I'm. Am I, how, if I'm kind of being held, I guess. Can I? Can I see the other person? Are, are they kind of sort of behind me or? I'm behind you. You, you. you can kind of see that they are in a a UK based space. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah. Hey, um, UK base here. Rescue mission. Here, here, here for the here for the crew. Let me go. Well, that's what they said, and they weren't. I am. I am Sam Parker. I am a mechanic with uh, with 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 the Air Force. Uh, I, I with UK base. This is this is my first mission out. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what to tell you. But I, we we were sent out here by um, by Air Chief Marshal Harry Roberts. We're, we're here to rescue uh, this. We're understood this this lunar module was supposed to have returned back home uh uh six 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 days ago now um back back to earth and um the communications were out from uh uh no sorry uh we were supposed to return um four four days ago but com comes comes on down six 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 days ago so we we were t we were told to come out um i am here i'm a mechanic i'm just here to see if this if the module could be repaired and and if we could rescue the cr rescue the crew i can't trust you I can't trust anyone now. Uh, um, I listen. Reach over, open that door, and leave, and don't come back. I'll take my chances with the moon. You, you want to stay here? It's the best option I've got now. Did the rest of the crew leave? We saw footprints. Yes. Why? Where did they go? <clears throat> they, uh, just went out to stretch their legs and, uh, I'd say they never came back, but that's not strictly true, I suppose, although maybe it is. You didn't see any footprints coming back. <laughs> what, what's your name? Dinning. Mark, Mark Dinning. How do you know that? Part of our briefing from the Air Chief Marshal. Like I said, we were sent to rescue you. We've got a working, we've got a working craft. Get you home safely. Huh, but of course, of course you'd know who I was if you were them, so. Who, who's them? Also, Johnny, is it, is it at all possible where, wherever the, radio button is is it possible to subtly press that yeah um i think you can have been doing that throughout yeah cool. yeah just so can hear or at least my side of it um i don't know what they're here. um yeah who's, who's them forget it look i've managed to sharpen something so i would suggest that you leave and just leave me here. Or I'll put a hole in the space suit. Okay, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm just, one last time, is, is there anything I can do to help? I'm, like I said, I'm a mechanic. There's something on your craft here that I can do to fix to help you. I would rather you didn't touch anything. 
I can talk you through something if you don't want me to touch anything. <laughs> but, but how would I know if you were telling me to do something good? You've got no hope of survival out here. No, but I'm not exactly sure the alternative is better. If you are who you say you are, then I'm sorry, but either way, I, I can't trust you and you should go. Okay. I'm going to let you go and I'm going to step back and I want you to unlock the door and leave. And if otherwise, if you, if you do anything unexpected, then I can't be held responsible. Okay, I'm gonna do what you say. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Um, the last thing I'm gonna say is, it seemed like the comms from the airlock was working. So I don't know if you could hear me, but hopefully you could. Um, if you decide you can trust me, I won't come in again unless you say it's okay. But so you know it's me. Um, my dog back home. It's called Seymour. If, if someone comes in and says that they're Sam Parker and they've got a dog back home called Seymour, you know it's me. It's, it's no other mysterious them. But I'm going to leave now, just like you said. I'm not going to touch anything else other than this door so I can leave, leave you like you want, okay? Okay. He slightly loosens off and you kind of can hear him step backwards. Uh, yeah, I'm, I will... I will do what I said I was going to do. I will leave. Um, but I, as I'm doing so, I will just try and just take in whatever I can from the interior. If there's anything else that I can see that gives any, that, that looks of any interest, like if there's any sign of any other people dead or alive or any other, any damage, any, just anything okay. that looks off. Everything that looks disconcertingly normal. Um, a couple of things are kind of on the floor, but that may be from when you previously opened the door and they may have been, uh, dragged off but um yeah you would almost expect it to look like there had been some kind of disagreement in here or something but it doesn't um and you also see uh dinning standing there um and he he is holding something in his hand so he yeah something which he may have fashioned into a weapon okay um then yeah i will open up the door back behind me um and slowly back away uh, well i guess i'll have to remove the other door as well to make the room to yeah so so it, so it's actually it's hard work to open the initial door because obviously you're now fighting against the uh, yeah or even if i can move it enough to create a gap that i can get out of yeah. or anything like that even i'm not fully removing it yeah um yeah you're out um I, I will head back as swiftly as I can to the buggy. Um, and yeah, did, did you did you hear everything? Did you hear that on the radio? Did, was my radio working? Did you did you hear yes, did you hear what happened? We we heard Mark is inside. What? He's completely what, what did he What did he look like in terms of his demeanor? Was was he kind of? <laughs> looking well, on edge or did he seem calm well for most of it he had me <laughs> he was behind me and had me had, had me around the neck um i only saw him really just briefly when 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 i as i was leaving um he, he had a weapon he, he fashioned some sort of weapon um and yeah johnny was there anything else as i was kind of scanning that I'd noted of, of him he he looked calm but in that kind of uh off the edge of anything really mattering anymore kind of way rather than actually calm so you're not sure how, like his kind of ramblings you're unsure how much to take on as you know yeah. maybe he's not all right now and it's it's just ramblings but yeah. i mean he's obviously completely mad what he was talking about but i mean he he was able to physically restrain me he's obviously fit and healthy in that respect um he he wasn't like 
raving and thrashing around or anything when he let me go. He was just he was just standing there. Um, it did look oddly normal, I suppose. Um, in there, nothing was damaged. I, I don't know. He's I don't think he sabotaged the vessel or, or anything like that. Um, I, I, I don't know. He, he didn't seem to trust that I was from UK base. He, he I, well, you heard, you heard, every, you heard everything. Um, he's off his nut. Well, that that depends. Um, I, I think we should find the other crew members. Yeah, all right. I'll leave the official diagnosis to you doctors, but there's something not right about him for sure. And. Not right about the others as well. If they've wandered off somewhere, he said they'd come. He said they came back. I, I mean, maybe it's the most sensible thing to do if if he's been if he's uh, been acting un, unsafe. Maybe they've retreated off for their own safety. But but to where? That we'll just have to find out. Uh, Johnny, based on my looking at like all the reports, like recent reports on the moon. Um, I'm assuming that I would have looked at like a map or something that would show me at least like if there were any geological features like caves or whatever nearby um, or like where yeah. the nearest other landed craft would be. Sure. Um, the other nearest uh, sort of remains of anybody else being here is a decent old distance away. Um and you would presume also that that team would know that. Um, in this direction, you have got another sort of crater edge. Um, and uh, you think that there are probably a couple of cave entrance kind of things over this way, potentially. So maybe they've gone to just look for somewhere, as much as you don't necessarily need shelter on the moon, Maybe they've gone to look for somewhere to kind of hunker down and wait out. You know, okay. if, if your working theory is that Mark has forced them out, they've maybe grabbed some stuff, gone somewhere to to wait out, you know, hopefully your arrival potentially. I mean, yeah. for all that we know, they could have left 10 minutes ago. You know, like we, yeah. we, we don't have any way of quantifying when they left. And also, uh, does Gilman, you know, you need to recover... If there is no, if there's no if there's no survivors then what's our well if if uh, this complicates matters if if there are if there are bodies we are supposed to reclaim them if we can um also it's supposed to bring back the crew alive i, I mean I, I i didn't feel like i was in a good position there i, I don't i don't like leaving a man behind like that but i, I don't think i could have done something there myself i I wanted to make sure you, you'd heard what I'd said, what happened in there, but mm. we sh we, we've got to let, we've got to let UK base know. Yeah, I think that's the next thing to do um, once we check on where the others have got to. But Parker, you made the right decision, you know, you got out of there safely and, you know, the last thing we need is another casualty. We'll yeah. ask. And I, I think in order to assess the situation further, we'll need to look at the other crewmates. Just to corroborate what Mark was talking about. I mean, he he didn't hurt me. He was, re he was reasonable in that respect. He's just obviously really shaken up by so something's not right. But he, he didn't hurt me. He could have done. You might have never heard from me again. He let me go. He's a man Hopefully. worth saving. We can only hope that he that he calms down in the uh, in the intervening period. Perhaps we can try to talk him down somehow but uh maybe even wait him out you know perhaps if we can get the the, the rest of the crew and if they're still okay then perhaps uh seeing them might uh talking to them might might help bring him around i don't know but... um johnny would there be some way of uh, presumably there's no way of directly messaging uk base from being out here rather than in the module uh from, from the buggy yeah, it's set up can. to relay essentially to the okay. yeah so you can all right well then with quick quick little report on on that and mark confirmation that we've got mark is alive but mad and the others are all gone and the shuttle is damaged beyond you know beyond the possibility for you know 
coming back home it, itself. Okay. You basically get picked straight up by the uh, Air Chief Marshal, which is not necessarily normal in a situation where you're dialing home. Um, ah, um, I, you've arrived safely, I presume. And all, uh, all well so far. Have you found the crew? Um, I'll, I'll probably look to more first. So, uh, and, unless he wants me, unless he indicates for me to sort of relay the message, but I think would defer that he would be the default person to actually do the official comms. Oh, you're on mute. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> sorry, I hadn't pressed my radio. <laughs> These switches are really sticky. Um, no, you go ahead, Parker. You, uh, you know, it's probably best to come from you anyway. You, you were there. Um, yeah, uh, Mum, we've we, we've arrived uh, and we found the 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 other module. Uh, one survivor, Mark Dinning, he's in there. He's alive. The others have all gone. They've left the shuttle. Uh, Mark refused to cooperate. Did not want to come with us. Something's happened well, here. That all seems incredibly strange. I mean, we can't be certain that. Ha that it's only Mark left in the shuttle, but that's the only one we've confirmed to be there. Completely outside of procedure. Why would he refuse to come home? He mentioned some sort of them, said that they had said that they were part of UK base crew. Um, it, he, he seemed to think that somebody else had been here claiming to be UK base to, as a rescue crew, uh, but wouldn't elaborate on who he thought they were or what had happened. He's obviously mad, there's nobody else here, but he claimed that there was something. Um, and so he would not trust me, would not trust who I was, um, wouldn't, co wouldn't come with us. Uh, he had, he'd fashioned some sort of weapon. The outer door of the shuttle is completely damaged. Um, I'm not sure it's, it's gonna be fixable, certainly not in any short space of time. I don't think the shuttle, certainly not now, the shuttle's not capable of getting back home to Earth sa safely. We see footprints moving away. The others definitely seem to have left. Um, although Mark Dinning made reference to them having returned, but we don't see any return footprints. Um, assuming Captain Moore agrees, with, with the, the intention is to follow uh, the footprints and see if we can find the rest of the crew. That seems like an incredibly reasonable course of action, yes. I. Um... Well, it sounds to me like he may have driven them out with his ramblings especially if you say he's fashioned a weapon um, it's possible mom the interior didn't look from my brief gl glance didn't didn't seem to be damaged um did confirm at least from the exterior that the comms seemed to be working so it, 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 something certainly happened that stopped them they, they've chosen not to communicate back home to earth rather than it being a mechanical issue from what i can see i see well Yes, I think that um, continuing on and checking for the rest of the crew seems sensible. And, uh, well, be careful. Thank you. Thank you, Mum. We'll do our best. Uh, okay. I more next moves i think we do as we say we should go on and investigate where these tracks lead i suspect they'll have gone to the nearest place that counts as shelter um there's there's a crater nearby that probably has some form of cave mm. around it in, in the direction that they're heading so that's probably the best place to start. Still, we haven't been briefed on everything to do with this mi this uh, mission, and we shouldn't assume too much. We don't know what kind. You know, if there was a, if there has been an expedition to the moon with people landing here, there could be all kinds of other things that we don't know about. So, let's just try and go forward with as few assumptions as possible. Uh, Johnny, um, would I or more know how much juice we've got on the buggy, and you know, if you know. Or at least there's a sense of when we have to sort of turn back and um, that you're on mute again. 
Yeah. Comms, um, space. Comms. Switches. Um, you are uh, on the light side of the moon, and this this can take solar power. Um, so you, you're pretty all right at the moment. Um, and uh, did um, Holly, did Hannah say that you thought they might they might want to shelter, didn't you? And, uh, yeah, well, and yeah, well, whatever counts as shelter, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so that would probably be 15 minutes away in the buggy. And you're, even at current levels, you think you could get there and back to your place without any issue. So. Cool. All is well, then. I mean, obviously not, but <laughs> on that thought, at least. So do we, do we think they damaged that door? purposefully or is it that's not easily done you can't you can't just damage a door like that these things are they're built to hurtle through space that i don't know what's happened to it but i don't think that was just done by hand strange sounds like we've got lots of questions to ask them I hope they're a bit more cooperative than Dinning was, but we'll see. Let's uh, let's get going. Then I don't suppose there's much point uh, hanging around here. Um, we should let we should let Mark calm down. Hopefully, he'll be more reasonable when we return. I think that's the that's a good idea. Also worth noting, Inga, from Sam's sort of brief look at him, he didn't look like malnourished or dehydrated. So you've got you've got that, you know, medically, sort of physically, he seems like he's okay at the moment. He basically so pinned me down. No worry there about, yeah. Yeah, if nothing else, for my pride, he obviously must have been fit and healthy. Mm. Best he's ever felt. Um, I, get, I assume we're moving, but um, I, I guess Sam might ask um, Alex, you know, do you, I mean, you're the doctor. Is, is there anything that you'd have that can treat or help him? If I mean, I guess he'd have to be amenable to it, but... Um, well, usually this, if, if well, I, I, Anna, I don't know whether you have any, uh, any opinions on this. I mean, it seems like some sort of psychotic break, but... Uh... Yeah, it seems that way. Um, we, we don't know what's caused it yet, but it definitely has has the sound of someone who has gone through something traumatic was that what do you see give him some valium or something what we need to you know calm him down and get him back surely you've got some sedatives at the the very oh, least yeah. yes we the, the issue is that we would need to actually get them into his body um which yeah either voluntarily or in order to like inject him we would need to make a hole in his suit which isn't great um yeah yes if, if we try to do anything without his cooperation it could well be dangerous for him and for us so uh something to be to be wary of but, uh, as i say hopefully with a bit of perspective um he might uh he might uh, come down himself and then we can maybe try to uh talk things through with him but uh Yes, for now, probably being left on his own is, is, is the best thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're trundling along the moon's surface uh, and you see um, quite a tall uh, crater's edge, which you're moving closer to. Um, and uh, as you get nearer, you eventually see what looks like an opening in the side of it. Uh, probably 15 feet, um, kind of tall and wide, it, yeah, um, diameter, that's the word I'm looking for, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, so plenty wide enough for you to, to fit in. Um, are you stopping outside? Are you, are you 
I presume you've been you've probably actually taken a little longer to get here because you've probably been checking that you're following the tracks um which would not be super easy to see from inside so you've probably been going slower to to double check yeah. um and it does look like they go into this cave as you approach the cave i would Great. suggest that we park outside and continue on foot Yeah, we don't want to be uh, jumped by anybody else. Uh... Less concern now about mechanical issues as we're heading in. Um, we may still want somebody at the buggy for the radio comms and be able to relay something back back home if we need to. But equally, if there's if there are a few of them, if there's at least two, bit judging by the tracks. Um, not can't confess being overly keen to go in solo this time around um what do you think more mm. is there something like a battery pack that we can take out of the buggy so that it, it can't move like because i like I, you know with one with one person with one with one person having a psychotic episode uh, I, I feel like, you know, this whole key thing is a good idea. <laughs> you know, we should really oh, work man. on these keys for space buggies. And I, is I, I, hmm. I mean, like, we, we've got two engineers here. We can disable a space buggy if we want to, but what's yeah, the effective way of disabling a space buggy? I think you could, you could probably pull a fuse out of somewhere. Yeah. Let's do that. that. Would probably, yeah, you could probably just remove a fuse and take it with you, and then yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. As long yeah. as that person doesn't fall down some sort of you know lunar crevasse, um, everything will be fine. Yeah, I or well, I, I'm going to do that and and show Parker I'm doing that, and then like, what, what are you see? doing to this buggy? What? <laughs> what? I would like that. I would like, you know, we we're going to be going into the uh, going going to meet some people who we don't know how long they've been here. They're going to be feeling very, uh, you know, we don't know how they're going to be feeling. I think it'd be best if uh, we can make sure that we've got a way to get back to our ship. Bye. Please don't lose that. Do not do not destroy and you. Uh, I and I'm just gonna watch him like a hawk, like and just like no, 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 just gentle, gentle. Uh, no. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All fine. I, I, no I, as here. as usual, Andrew is like you know doing this in a collected way and uh, just trying to make rational decisions. Um, so that that solves that issue of the of the buggy. Um, let's go. Let's get. Let's uh, let's stick together and go on in. I assume you have some lights or something. Yeah, you'll have sort of side of helmet torch things, um, which are pretty powerful. I'm I'm assuming that. Uh, well, I I don't know actually. Given you know you're the only one who can fly us back, but I, I was going to assume that maybe the more of the military types would be up in front. Um, Parker will certainly assume that she'd, she'd be up, up front somewhere. But. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Um, you enter the large cave entrance. Um, and a few steps in, um as you kind of cast your torches around because obviously you know when you get to a cave and it's like black at the entrance until you step in and your light enters um you see a space suited form leaning on the against the cave wall on the floor and its visor is smashed um can you all make me sanity rolls, please? First sanity roll. I know, we got through the whole first section without a sanity oh, roll. They're all going to come now. <laughs> it's a fail, 71 over 50. 
For some reason, my sheet has not calculated my sanity, and I am suddenly I've really just realised this. Wow. <laughs> uh, it should be equal to your. Is it equal to your power? power? I believe so. I think starting sanity. Yeah. 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 Okay, then it's fine. Uh, I I pass. I rolled forty-two under sixty, so I pass. Okay, so thirty-one so under seventy. So cool. Uh, two sanity loss. You can go for Sam. Um, not just the sight of the thing, but also the implication that this gives you of it's unlikely that this is, is an accident <laughs> that this has happened to them. Um, and uh, if you... Um, is anybody checking on the, the body? Uh Yes, after looking around to make sure there's no one sort of, you know, lurking, um, I will uh, head over and uh, inspect the, uh, yeah. Is is okay. there, is it just kind of a closed cave? Are there any other exits off? Because I think Parker will try and like keep an eye out more protectively for Alex as he's looking, but is that a single direction back out the way or is there other tunnels and stuff? It, it continues on okay. yeah. from where you are. That's surprising. And it seems to it seems to maintain this sort of fifteen foot um, diameter. Is it um, is it is it regular or is it? Um, it's quite remote? regular. <laughs> um, it's not it's not a pure circle, but it's mm. it's pretty standardised. From yeah, um, okay. Uh, Gilman um, has a look at the body. Um, the name tag says Turner, um, and the um, face is uh, there. Are, there is a bit of visor stabbed into the cheek, just below the eye, <clears throat> um, and he's definitely dead, as you would expect. Um, nothing particularly strange looking about the the face um there's a, a sort of a look of you know fear um but if if he'd tripped and done this and realized he was going to die the look of fear could be could be that um mm. as an example of something that that would you know be explainable so looking around, there are, are there any uh, like sharp rocks or uh, stalagmites or anything like that that could have caused this? Are there any shards um, of visor elsewhere? Or there are a few bits of sort of you know jutting rock out of the the cave floor. Um, none that are you know a spike. Mm. Um, so yeah, in in your mind, you can't really make sense of the. And also, you know, this stuff is pretty sturdy, um, and you would be falling at not the same speed as you would fall on Earth. And your brain's going through all these things and going, even if you'd, even if you know, even if it's very, very, very unlikely. Can I get a sense of how long ago this happened? If it was on Earth, you would say it was very recent. It's a little harder to tell because you've not experienced this before. You're not 100% sure on the effects that the low atmosphere and, mm -hmm. you know, all of this stuff would have on sort of post-death bodily effects. Um, so yeah, I think if if it was on Earth, you would say it was sort of within the last half a day. But do you stretch that out to twice as long, three times as long? You're not really sure. Yeah, we just don't know. Yeah. Uh, are there any other footprints? And in which direction are they leading? Uh, everything is still going into the cave. And there's no sign of a scuffle around here? Or is that right? No, 
not really. Yeah, does it look like that he he's been moved in any that's any kind of like he's been dragged into this position at all? Like dragged potentially that it could have happened somewhere else? No, no, then, it, uh, no, it doesn't look like a dragging, no. Sorry, I'm just having to double check the name of the the RPG we're running. Um, it's not uh, it's not the other one, is it? No. Um, well, he's he's dead, fairly obviously. And right. that certainly would explain the um, traumatic thing that caused Mark to. Have, have some times um, if this was the kind of situation that was going on or at least the lead up to it does it do we think that um, it, it seems unlikely that um, Mark would have been able to come out and do this and then return with the ship in the state it was in well, there were, there were no return footprints. Well, I mean, I guess he could have been, well, it would have been a long, arduous walk to reverse. It's very unlikely. He, he He's not murderous. He didn't hurt me. I don't think he, I don't think he did this. I think he must have been afraid, not, I don't know. Okay. Are there any, any external pockets on the suit that I can check? Any... Uh, anything like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you check them. There's nothing in any of them. Um, well, there's sort of the standard stuff that you would have, sure. like your suit patches and all that. But there's nothing, nothing strange. Can I go back? Can I go back to the buggy and just relay that we, you know, the current situation to uh, UK base? Oh dear! Indeed. Um, Spotted bother. <laughs> very, very British. Uh. Well, two left, I suppose. I'm... Well, it seems that, at the very least, Dinning is dangerous, but someone else here could also be dangerous. One of the remaining, or both the or remaining, perhaps, could also be dangerous. Perhaps Turner was dangerous, and the other two took necessary action. There's no way to know. Seems to be no way to know about anything with this whole thing. Mm. We'll continue on until we can find something. But... Yes. Yes. I mm. would. Uh... Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We, 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 it's unclear how, how far this tunnel goes and. Um... We'll try and relate to you back within like how much what's our what's our how much time do we really have before we would have to start heading back um oh for, for you to leave the moon no to head back to the our ship because of like getting oxygen. cold oxygen uh, oh right yeah 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 um yeah you've probably got you know a few hours okay yeah, we'll try and we'll try and like we should be relaying to you within a few hours. Okay, good. Over and out. This 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 cave probably I'll be sort of saying this to to Hannah. Um, this what's this must have this is a known geological feature, right? This is. Well, um, well, Johnny, is this something that other missions have scoped out? Because I'm assuming no. not if the only craft nearby is that one. So what what you've got is sort of, um, you know, uh, like digital scans of the area, which will show that there is a subterranean feature here, but not, not to the degree of detail to show that it is quite sure. regular. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just say, yeah, the, we, we've done some digital scans of the area, but nothing 
specific. So yeah, this is not the kind of feature that you'd expect to be found. Um, generally, these kinds of features, especially on the moon, they taper inwards because there's there's no water to create these features. So this is odd. Uh, and I'm I'm actually going to go and just like inspect the wall and um, see what kind of erosion I can see. Like are there like rings? Is it yeah? Um, it is. So like I said, it's not completely smooth. There's kind of bits that jut out in little bits, um, but there's also not what you would expect to see in terms of like wave-based erosion or anything like that kind of thing um so it almost looks purposeful okay does it have a name yet the cave um mm -hmm. i don't think we've got around to naming it no it's, mm -hmm. it's just a small subterranean feature perhaps we might, might have to uh Think of something on the way back. Anyway. Well, shall we? Uh, yeah, shall I'll, we I'll, I'll, let's move Let's move on. Cool. Um, um, before we move on, um, Hannah is going to try and subtly uh, check the body more thoroughly of Simon Turner. The... Um, object that i'm looking for do i know what size it is uh unless i'm wrong steve i don't think he could be carrying it on his person yeah, correct yes. it's, okay. it's yeah a fairly large well, you can hold it in both hands but it's definitely um you know that's okay of... no worries i i continue on and as we're following the tracks does it still look like more than one set Yes, although it is notably two now, rather than the group that could have been three or four previously. Um, okay, you continue on for sort of a minute. Um, and can everybody make me... Um, hmm... <laughs> Being jumped by xenomorphs, <laughs> Uh I don't know what the best thing would be here, actually. Uh, well, what's the test for? What are we trying maybe, to approach? Maybe natural world or navigate, which that was, that, I was hoping you'd say navigate. <laughs> Yeah, I have base scores in Natural World and Navigate, so uh, that's a fail for me. 78 over 60, so I fail. But I, I was like... Massive fail for me as well. 83 over 10. I, I got a 23 over 20. Do I want to try and... Ooh, that's close. Three luck points spend. That's, uh... You're not going to need to be lucky later on, are you? Well, yeah, that's that's my thing. My my <laughs> luck is already quite low. Um, but you know what? Sure, I'll I'll do it. Like okay, cool. The fun. So, um, Hannah trips over a small rock a little, um, and in the stumbling to right herself, kind of goes, "Hang on, I think this is slightly downhill." Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to look back the way that we came and just try and, like, stand still for a moment and get a better sense of which way it's going. And Yeah, so, so sort of the first maybe 100 feet into the cave, or 50 feet is, you think is flat from where you're looking at, and then you've got kind of a slightly sloping... So it goes to sort of, you know, you can see a bit that you think is probably a 1% decline, and then you think you're probably now on about a 2% decline. 
Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll say to the rest of the group. Uh, it seems like the the cave is getting steadily steeper downhill. This is a very strange shape for a cave. Yeah. Is it? Does that does that have significance? Uh, well, the the moon has no water or the, the ways of creating these kinds of features. Generally, the main features on the moon are created by meteorites and asteroids. So you get craters and like small caves because of them, but they're mainly cracks, not um, consistent diameter tunnels that steadily go downwards. It's yeah. So what you think someone was like drilling down here or some, something? Well, or... the tunnel doesn't look drilled, but I don't know what else would make this. Not well, I mean certainly not someone from UK based, but maybe it's maybe one of the other agencies has has created something, some sort of tunnels or something. I don't Hey that that reminds rookie... me of that uh, that That'd TV talk... show with the the space mice. What's that called? Clangers. <laughs> Sorry. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not worry too much about how this all happened and start focusing on the problems at hand, which is trying to locate our two yes. missing. Doesn't change anything, right? Um, no, we, we need to locate the remaining crew. Yeah. Cool. Keep moving forward. A little while further on, um, you all spot kind of from a distance, and then as you get closer, uh, some sort of a very faint light emanating from the cave wall at one point further down on the right-hand side. <clears throat> Um, when you say emanating from the wall, like, do we mean like, you know, it just, it's near the wall, we can see a light, or, or, or can we tell that it's actually coming out of the wall somewhere, like, or so, could it so, be like, there's another suit that's got a light that's up against a wall, potentially? So it's not, um, it's not like a tunnel or anything, um, it's not another opening that a light's coming out of, it's sort of around head height, Further down on the right hand side, it looks like literally from the cave wall there is some light. Almost Look. as if there was sort of a light box, you know, tucked into the wall. There is some, it's faint, but you can definitely, you know, it, it's so dark in here and your lights don't get that far that you can see that there is light ahead. Then let's head over to it. Okay. You get there and you see a number of inscriptions on the wall. Can you all make me sanity rolls, please? <laughs> these, these are sort of emanating a faint light of various different colours uh, along different sort of lines that are drawn in it. 17, uh, that's a pass for me. Oh, okay. I fail. <laughs> okay. I succeed with 40 under 60. Okay. Yeah, 14 under 70. Okay. Wow. Justin, uh, Andrew loses two sanity. Um, cool. Because you are able to comprehend these symbols. Cool. Which are telling you to continue into the cave to receive the treasures of the old one. Cool. Where is this light coming from? Literally, the, the carvings that are in the wall are emanating a faint light. Cool. So anywhere that there is a line sort of to do with these carvings, a faint light of varying different colours is, is cool. emanating. Gilman, um, is there like a field sanity check that you can... Like a field just... Is there like a... How do I know if I'm wigging out, Gilman? Uh... Well, because I, because I, you know, it looks to me like there's some writing here that's glowing. 
I mean, yeah, we, can we, see the glowing. yeah we, we, we can see the writing. Um, cool. I just wanted to make sure we could all see the writing. Well, what, what do you think it says? I mean, it's gibberish. No one can read this. Yeah, it's gibberish. <laughs> can I tell that Andrew's lying? Uh, do you want to make a psychology roll? Uh, psychology or psychoanalysis, which am I? I think it's uh, probably I, psychology. I psychology. Yeah. Uh, psychoanalysis is generally for, for healing uh, people who have issues, I think. Uh, no, not quite. Not quite. Uh, then, yeah, as far as you're concerned, he's telling the truth. Okay. Um, okay. Um, can I, like, get a tool out of my suit pocket or something and just like away from the writing just try scratching at the wall just to mm -hmm. just to see whether it starts glowing uh it does not okay so yeah i see what you as if it was like a natural thing behind the the, mm -hmm. the rock face but but no there's nothing and then my my other question was going to be do i recognize the symbols not necessarily uh, know what they say but recognize the kinds of symbols Okay. They're not like it's almost not even symbols. It's like individual lines. You know, there's nothing that looks like if you saw a hieroglyphic and you'd, you'd know that it was a, a thing, or if you saw like a yeah, it's not like there's nothing recognizable as a pattern of something to give you that information. Okay. Are these recent? Did the others do them? I mean, surely they must have done. Why? I, I also don't know what they would have used to make it. It, it looks like the the stone is fluorescing. Uh, I'm gonna like try and like rub at the the symbol to see if I can like get any of it on my fingers. Oh, to see touching it. it! That's brave. <laughs> um, no. If you if a bit of uh, like you kind of do that and you you do end up with a bit of sort of cave rock wall rock mm -hmm. on your fingers but it's it's plain it's not okay hmm it doesn't look like they've they've used any sort of fluorescence um do we have a camera with us do we have a space yeah. camera yeah i i yeah i definitely have that yeah yeah which i'm i'm already making copious notes on this like yeah this, this is my shit <laughs> Well, we need to be moving on anyway to see if we can find those two. This is uh, doesn't change the matter at hand. It doesn't, but it is fascinating. As you look down the cave from here, you can actually see some kind of bioluminescent light at the end of this corridor, you think, probably a hundred feet on from where you are sort of faint glow <clears throat> let's head towards it it's yeah, definitely a, a big deal set, have they set up some sort of camp down here maybe maybe let's be on our guard okay you head down and you as you get closer you know this is definitely a sort of an end to this corridor um which, which it an end as in it opens out into a larger area um and as you step kind of into this uh large cavern which is filled with a bioluminescent light you all see the scientific discovery of the millennium which is that in this cavern is a shallow sea covered with what look like lotus flowers. And at the far end, uh, a kind of um, a reef, which is kind of jutting out slightly at the, the far end of this sea. Oh, uh, it's just another one of those things. Um, I just uh, yes, I... yes, we can see it. <laughs> yes, can see it. And I'm I'm taking loads of pictures. This this is 
shouldn't be possible. I'm, I'm, I'm I think there's a very reasonable chance. Kind of We've got to this. Gilman, do you think there's a reasonable chance that we're all experiencing some kind of mass delusion? This seems so improbable. I mean, I don't. I feel fine. Yeah, well. but. <laughs> uh, can I check the like uh, some sort of atmospheric meter to see what the state of play is like external to our suits? Is is there any atmosphere? Is there is slightly more in here than there would be outside. Certainly not in you can you couldn't take your helmet off no. here, but there is a slight adjustment to outside. But there's nothing that would support like water or plants or not not as we know them at least. Not you earth know. ones. Yeah, you you certainly you certainly wouldn't expect this in this setting. And the tracks are they still visible? And they moving? continue into here and kind of around the shore towards the other end. This cavern is enormous, like you you couldn't get to the other side of this cavern you don't think before you needed to leave for, to get wow. more oxygen so they continue around the shore but you don't know how far they go i think we can do some checking but very soon i think we should return to ship and you know and we can take samples or something do here, a really but... thorough psych evaluation of all of us like this is crazy this is incredible yeah this th this is incredible i mean i, I let me I rephrase feel... this isn't incredible regardless of any of that we're going to need to turn back soon anyway because mm -hmm. for our oxygen needs and so on if the others are ahead of us somewhere they're going to have to turn back soon or they're lost anyway i don't think we can catch i'm not sure we can catch them up at this rate we can't see them ahead now and we're going to need to turn back soon and they don't have a buggy and a, a safe module they can go back to yeah i'm torn this is also a lot probably our last chance to to, to rescue them well while all that is going on i'm taking samples from the water How, okay I... hang on sorry holly i was on mute um can you were you saying the same thing I, I i was going yeah Maybe i would have been heading down you. to the shore and yeah. <laughs> um you can also head down to the shore if you like steve um i'll be heading down to the shore behind uh hannah okay can can anybody <laughs> who's looking into the sea with any degree mm. of uh, interest make a sanity roll please Oh, just failed with 62 over 60. 59 under 70. Okay. You with you. Um, you know, this counts. I think Sam would also be looking at, at it from just from, you know, nerdy sci-fi interest, but she just rolled a 10, which is a pass. Okay. As you look into the waters, you see the ruins of what looks like a large ancient city um so if this was the scientific find of the century <laughs> god knows what that is um and you then weirdly again notice a ripple in the waters which you wouldn't expect in here um Justin, what's Andrew doing at this moment? Andrew is, I think, like, uh, Andrew is un working under the assumption that the group is experiencing some kind of psychotic episode, a mass psychotic episode. Like, we're all knocked or something. Like, something about pressure or something is interfering with gases that is making us not perceive things correctly. And therefore, it is not safe to remain down here. So, so kind of like, I'm trying to, like, come to terms with all of that and then we'll probably be trying to make sure the group doesn't get too far away from what, each other and that we do a bit of searching around as long as I think that we are like not fully going crazy 
and then we f make sure we don't lose our way out and that we can get out and get to safety because that is the things that's like this is I, like taking this from a kind of you know like uh you know expedition leader perspective of like let's not leave anyone behind <laughs> kind of you know let's, get, let's let's not flip and die here chief yeah. cat herder I think kind of aligned with that, like Parker would just be doing some like last little any kind of calculations or whatever in terms of yeah. estimate estimated timing on yeah. things like the oxygen um, to essentially like get uh, to more like factually give that info to more yeah. to, so that he can ultimately make the call about whether we go carry on yeah. a little bit further to try and rescue them, given it's our last chance, or whether we decide to turn back now. Um, yeah, that, that's what Parker will do. I, I think I'd say to Alex and Hannah, like you know stick together don't go don't wander off you know we need to go and search we need to make sure <laughs> for staying on target focused on these people on finding these guys okay steve i, I forgot before but you failed your sanity test didn't you so can, two yes. sanity loss, please. two sanity okay that's not too bad um but... alex is convinced upon seeing this city that it is a city of the dead cool <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll just be sort of staring, I think, into the um, yeah, into the depths of this uh, this sea. Um, you, you doing all right there, Alex? There's, I there's a there's a city. Ugh. Okay. No, I'm good. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating, Alex, isn't it? I'm like taking. Uh, can you see it too? I'm Alex, try to uh, stepping back a bit from from whatever is going on with that disturbance over there, and let's start. Let's focus on finding these people. As interesting as the city is, it is. It is the look. It's the uh, nitrogen narcosis is 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 a thing. I I don't think our gas mixtures are. Uh, I th I'm sure they're fine, and I will check. Sure, yeah. I just. The... That's so fine. Our, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Yes, we're all sure. all level. No weird gas Good. problems. I just want you guys to step back over here and let's follow these footprints a bit further. We can go investigate the city when we've had more time to prepare, when we've brought everything we need to bring. But let's mm -hmm. follow these footprints. Is is Hannah? Getting a sample of one of those lotus things or any plant material or I'm anything. getting as many samples as I can. I'm taking water, I'm taking Just plants. be careful, Hannah. Um, yeah. I don't want you to fall into that thing. I don't know. I wouldn't want to go in and come and have to drag you out of it. Um, Johnny, Let how much space is there on the path that we'll you need to walk around this? <laughs> is it fairly narrow or is it fairly wide? Mm. Oh, you've got you've got quite a wide uh, beach, as it sure. were, before yeah. the wall. Yeah, the final shore. Nice. Yeah, you can't. Like I said, it's a long way around to the other end of this cat. So you don't know what it's like at the other end, but certainly where you are, you've got probably fifty feet. Um, so there's there's no it, danger it, of being plucked off a thin ledge into the the depths of the. Uh, the oh, I wasn't as far as you're aware. Who, who knows what the tides on the moon do? <laughs> So what Sa Sam's thinking right now, not about any dangers in the water. She's thinking about well, she's been up front as like military personnel or whatever. But if she, if you, if you're slowly losing your rocker as well, um, then you know, can she get back around you if needs be, or are you going to block <laughs> nice, her way out? Nice, nice. Or Gilman or Moore or Black? Which 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 one are you worried about? Uh, Gilman, she's not worried about Moore. You're acting totally That's sensibly good. at the moment. There is a city. You can see it. I'm There's sure. City, I'm sure. But we are. But right now we have a job, and you know you've got a job, Gilman, and, and we our job is to go and find those people. So, yes, Black, I'm fine. Take it, it's, I'm I know fine. you're fine. There's just a city. Gilman, there. stand down. Black, so you've finished. You can take more samples when you come back, but for now we need to go find those two astronauts. Johnny, the other thing about that you said it's a bit like a kind of shore. Is it the same mm -hmm. kind of? like new moon surface kind of rock hard rock that we've been walking along or does it become kind of beachy sandy some kind of different texture yeah it's kind of both so you know it it probably is made up of the same stuff as the rock but it's been yeah sort of worn down by the water okay I'm, i might just sort of say as well like uh more money to re you know 
build in a little extra time if we're moving a bit slower through this. Yeah. Let's time. add. Let's add an extra. Worth minute. noting, if you move closer to the cave wall, it's not that. So you you can do a yeah you can do a better pace nearer the wall. Yeah. Um, Still, let's build in an extra like like something which is basically you know. Yeah let's say we're building an extra 10 percent of contingency time into our our reserves you know yeah we need to know what our you know our you need to know our, our what our maximum downtime is plus an extra third of air and all the rest of it so um yeah let's go let's 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 just try and get onto those things are you coming hannah alex uh yes yes i'm coming yes we we, we need to find them Sure. Still taking more pictures as I'm walking away. Sure. Like, Just make sure you don't trip over. You know, let's not let's not do something stupid here. I know you. you know, don't watch your feet. Let's all move on. Cool. You continue on. Um, many of you probably marveling at <laughs> what you've just stumbled upon. You know, um, and. Uh, you feel like if you look at that sort of the ceiling or the opposite wall, like you are not getting anywhere as you are walking along because this cavern is vast. Um, but you continue on. Do we and... have anything we can use to like mark our way? Like, when, is it was there is there danger of us getting lost? You know, in this vast cavern. I mean, I mean, you're pre Foot you're following the, the footsteps. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Unless anything happens to those, you're fine. I, I'm fine with you trying to leave some something additional if you want to. Do we have any like lanterns that we can like set down? Glow sticks. Um... You could drop a piece of chocolate, piece of that chocolate you've got every now and again. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, the thing is like space mice like chocolate. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking about about like yeah, but it, like that's what we got. Uh, let's let's keep going if we haven't got anything to say straightforward then. Yeah. There are sort of, um, you know, bits of rock and stuff that you could think of as a landmark in terms of, you know, you could figure out that one looks like X a little bit, and I'll remember that when I come back kind of thing. Great. Um, <laughs> that one there kind of looks cool. like a squid, you know. Uh... <laughs> cool. Um, so you're continuing on um, following these footprints. Um, eventually, one of the sets of footprints branches off. Great. Um, In which direction? So, this water is to your right as you're wandering along, and the footsteps go towards the right. Uh Unless anyone is telling me not to, I'm following that set of footsteps. I think we can go that way as a group. <laughs> okay. Um, these go all the way into the water. Cool. And they don't seem to come back out. Excellent. If Hannah doesn't show a sign of stopping before hitting the water... Yeah, I'm, I'm not walking straight into the water, but I'm definitely, like, peering in to see We're if not... I can see, like, a body. Hmm. We're not uh, no, but you see, you see that nice city again. Um, but no, there's, there's no sign of a, a body here. Of course, there's every possibility that this person has wandered in, wandered along in the water, and then wandered out somewhere else. Of course, yeah, that's definitely what happened. But we haven't seen their tracks so far, and they don't go back out the cave, so... Correct. Yeah, cool. So, I guess, um, maybe we follow the other set of tracks, and maybe th they rejoin later. Yeah, let's, let's follow the other set of tracks. Yeah, as long as we still have time. <laughs> Keeping an eye on the time. Yeah, you're fine at the moment. You've got probably another hour before you think you would need to turn around. Yeah, cool. I just feel like I, I'm just checking a lot just because I'm just like not trusting my ability to keep track of things like time. I'm not trusting shit. Like, I'm just, I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, I disappeared for a moment. You did, but, you know, <laughs> that was just part of the effect. Uh, you've been replaced by something that isn't actually Alex Gilman. Who 
is walking at the back of the party <laughs> uh, probably me because i'm still very distracted by the seat unless one of the military personnel was, is taking up the rear i was gonna say one after hannah went through went in the back there i was gonna maybe i was trying to think well, I, whether i would have done this but kind of uh, said more like you know maybe we should have one up front one behind yeah keep an eye on these two yeah <laughs> and I, I can i can lead that's fine I'm, I'm good at like navigating so okay inga can you make me a listen roll please great oh yeah 95 no chance Ooh. okay that's fine yeah, that's, that, that's good that's good <laughs> that's good all is well behind us we know there's nothing there when our footprints came back mm -hmm. i'm keeping an eye on these two uh -huh. we're, just we're definitely what you need to be worried about Hmm. Can I just check whether whether Andrew has has looked at the city? Um, I think it's probably difficult at this stage to have not seen the city, so I probably should roll for sanity. You need to be you need to be being close to the shore to be able to look in, as opposed right. to because if you see across the surface, you just see the surface of the water. You need to be looking in to be. I'll leave that up to you, Justin. <laughs> I think. Uh, well, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see the sea. I think when I when, when the footprints went up to the shore, I could have seen it then. And I rolled a eleven, so that's a pass. Yeah, that's a pass. Which means that I see the city. Uh, you do, yes, yeah, you see the city, but but you're fine. Yeah, well, it, it helps to not to not believe that I am actually seeing what I think I'm seeing. Mm. Like that, that helps with you know maintaining a, a set of you know, a bit of composure about it. Maybe it's a rock formation. Uh, you know what? It's incredibly likely that in this dark conditions with poor lighting that this is a rock formation. Why there are these rock formations in the moon, I don't know. But I'm knocked, so I can't <laughs> trust my ability to understand any of these things. So, And like, the human mind is designed to see patterns out of nothing. So. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Such as seeing a massive ocean on the moon yeah that's yes. more of a you know, stretch <laughs> it's it's a stretch but uh it's 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 infinitely more believable that i'm going crazy than especially because i i thought i could read the writing on the wall you know like you i'm really insane you thought you could read it i'm not talking to this is all going on inside moore's head oh okay are you sure <laughs> i hope so i hope so <laughs> um yeah Cool. Um, you continue on for a little while longer. There are no prints coming back out of the sea. Um, and eventually you happen across somebody just standing in a spacesuit, cool. looking away from you. I think we should approach cautiously. But um, yeah, I'd suggest that one of us calls yeah. out. What I'll do is I'll give Parker the fuse, and then I'm going to go and approach on my own. Captain, you're the only one who can fly us out of here. Are you sure? Be fine. Those things fly themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go do the thing. Go ahead and tap on the shoulder of whoever this. But I'm assuming this person doesn't react when we call out their name, because that would be too. Oh. easy. Are, are you calling out the one remaining name? I thought that's what. Well, we don't we know don't. which of them it is, mm. but but I thought that's. Oh, isn't too, that, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that what Hannah Black did, or not? Uh, well, I'd, I'd say one of us needs to. I'd, oh, okay. If 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 no one went to do it, I I would. But... No, I think I'll, I'll do that as I approach. Okay, so you're shouting both names and see if they. Or just like, hey, hey, is, hey there, hello there. Uh, yes, they they turn around. Great. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Who is uh, it? Is it one of who we know? It's, it's it's a man which you would presume from you can't see his name tag from here. You presume it's Eric Flynn Evans from here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Eric. Yes. Oh, we're uh, part of the rescue party. We're here to save you. Do you know where everyone else is? Uh, I mean, I I couldn't tell you for certain, apart from, well, apart from Simon. Um, 
he went mad on the way in here and started right. attacking me and Olivia and we right. we pushed him and he he went with some force into the, the cave side and God right. I still feel horrible. And as far as I'm aware, uh Din is still uh in the ship but Yeah. And, and Olivia? She looks like she, she was separated from you some time ago. Yes, she she walked into the water and didn't seem to come back out. Right. Um, I tried to stop her, but I I didn't realise she she turned off from me until she was already yeah. very near the water. And well, um, how's your air? Uh, not good, but I think I can make it back if we're quick. Let's let's go then. Okay. Why, why uh, did you come down here? Where were you going? We were getting away from Din to begin with and thought that on the off chance there was, well, some, somewhere to make some kind of camp, I suppose. But yeah. things got even stranger. I, I mean, have you seen this place? Yeah. How... Let We need to get you it's back. Okay. You're probably not in the best shape. Y yes, yes, of course. Do you mind me asking what happened to the, the door on the shuttle? What do, do you mean? Wanna, do we want to walk and talk here? Yeah, no, we'll just walk and talk, guys. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's start heading back. Um, I... when, when we arrived, the, the door was ajar and it had been kind of bent off its hinges. How? That doesn't make that's, any that's sense. That's what we thought. It wasn't like that when you left. No. And after you left Mark at the shuttle, did any of your crew go back to him? Uh, no. Like, uh, I've given you the full uh, series of events. We came here on the way in. Uh, Simon started attacking us, and then Olivia How? and I continued on, and then she's gone. And How did you know to come uh, here? Uh, well, I knew there was a cave here from the, um, the, the local area schematics that we had. What happened with Mark? We we actually encountered him. He he could have killed me, but he let me go. What? Why did you leave? What happened? He just turned on us like Simon did. I, I've got no idea what's going on. Um, Johnny, when I yeah. was looking at um, Eric's file. Was there mm -hmm. any like fairly straightforward identifiable information in there, like where where he grew up or like where he was born? Let me check that. Uh, also, can everyone make a listen roll, please? Yeah. Let's hope we all fail. <laughs> oh, you're such a defeatist, Justin. I just want to survive as long as I can. <laughs> Failed. Eighty. Failed. <laughs> Here's what I think. Failed. Eighty-two. Spaceship skills and repairing shit and doing stuff on spaceships and it's like, what the fuck are we doing? Well, I, I, I succeeded. I got thirty-two under forty. Oh. Um, you can hear a very faint kind of uh, sound of the tide changing it's like it's not as loud as sort of waves on earth by any stretch but there is kind of the sound of a shift uh, and if you look over towards the sea you think that it is moving out slightly and kind of getting slightly lower from where okay um holly 
he has uh, a family. Um, he's got a wife and five kids. So those would be relatively easy. Okay. Things. So do, do yeah. I do I know his wife's name? Uh, yeah. Let's say it's uh, Helen. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So um, I'll just say, and um, I just want to check that you're like doing okay in terms of like memory and stuff. Can you tell me your wife's name? Uh, yeah, he Helen. Okay. And um, you, you've got kids, don't you? Could you tell me their names mm -hmm. as well? Uh, yeah, he recites their names as you would expect. Okay, that that all seems fairly normal. That's that that's good. That that means that you're not experiencing too many issues with memory loss. Good, good. Uh, you get most of the way out of the cave. Um, Steve. Uh, oh, oh, oh sorry, yeah, Johnny. Oh, I forgot to ask. Is he carrying okay. anything? I'm assuming not because you didn't mention it. But yeah, no, he's not got anything though. No. Um, Steve, are you sort of checking the sea <laughs> as you are wandering <laughs> along based on what I've told you? Yes, yes. I think I'm, I might well have sort of mentioned. Uh, yeah, I'll keep kind of checking the 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 levels of it. And uh, hey, do you? Do you think that the tide's going out? Look, it if seems we look at it, can we see it going out? Eyes on the road. Yeah, Robert. especially if you've not checked it for a while. Like if, if, if Alex didn't mention it straight away the first time and it's been a bit longer, yes, it's further out and it's lower. Um, and actually, there are a couple of slight protrusions from the top of the water now, which you presume is from the underwater city. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it looks like the, there's some kind of tidal force on on this sea, and I'm going to start slowing down um, <laughs> to to have a look at it. Like I will leave you behind. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'll I'll take a few quick pictures and then hurry up to to catch up to the group. Black, if we get this stuff reported back to UK base, there's going to be another mission to come and there's explore. There's plenty of time. Although sure I think we've somewhere. gone crazy. We've got the photos. Maybe. We've got evidence of anything mm. yeah. here. Just the existence of the place will be enough for another expedition and you'll be giving guest lectures for the rest of your life back home. You get to near the cave exit uh, and as you cast the last look back at the cave, um, you see that the reef that is actually that is at the far end of the the cave um now the water is dipped you can now see that it is some kind of black basalt crown of a creature whose monstrous forehead now shines in the bioluminescent light of the room and you can only presume that its feet touch the bottom of this gigantic sea. Can you all make sanity rolls, please? <laughs> cool. Good memory. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's all good. Well, that, that's, a, that's a big fail from me. That's a fail from me. I'm all good. 24. Mm. I passed. 40. I passed. 48. Yeah. Okay, uh, Justin, Andrew is going to lose five sanity. Everyone else is going to lose two. Mm. Yeah, five sanities, five sanity in one go is uh, it's a lot bad. Yeah, um, it's temporary madness. Yeah, nice. It's got the fuse as well. No, I've passed that on to Parker. Oh, phew. Um, so, um, all Andrew can think about yeah. is getting off the moon getting as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yes. Well, already pretty much. And, going on. and he sets off running. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. Luckily, I don't have the fuse. 
Don't, don't trip. Running. Does he set off running to the buggy if we're close to the end? Out, of, yeah, out of the cave, yeah. But, but I mean, like, he is actually going to the buggy. He's still got, like, got enough sense to get to the buggy rather than just trying to run back. It would be quicker to wait to get to the buggy, to drive home with the buggy. So I think yeah. that would be, if I can do that, then that's what I would be doing. Yeah. That's okay. what I would do, at least. Uh, yeah, but I'm getting out of this cave. Past the writing that tells me to get the treasures of the deep ones and, uh, you know, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start running and gesture to the others if they haven't, um, especially because I've got the fuse. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, try and, try and catch up to him if possible. As you are heading through this corridor, uh, you hear the crackle of your kind of shortwave transmission crackling in and out, and you hear, hello, this is Flynn Evans. I, hello, are you, have you come to help? Mm. Uh, I'm just going to look across <laughs> and just raise an eyebrow. Can can you hear that? Uh, I'm I'm speaking to Eric. Eric, uh, are you are you all running after Andrew at this point, or have you just let him yeah, run? Yes, I think running after. Well, I was running after, but hearing that, I'm not sure. If that would stop me in my tracks or not. I think it might. Um, at some point during the running, um, the Eric that was with you is no longer there. Okay. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to look back down the, the tunnel and just go, we, we've lost Eric. Um, he, he might shift or something. Like we, we should we should go back. Um, sorry, Johnny. You hear it? Would 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 uh, would we expect our radios to be able to communicate, like as as a radio comms? Like, would we expect to be able to communicate with the other crew? Yes. From some distance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, as you kind of stop upon realizing he's not there, you've gone a bit further in that kind of moment, and you hear, uh, "Hello, this is Eric Flynn Evans." Um, we are from the previous lunar mission. Um, I, I, I've ended up near your buggy. Are you, are you here to help us? Hello? You're outside. Y yes, why? And I will, I guess, turn to look at the others, probably especially Hannah. Sounds like Mark wasn't going insane. Is Moore but... still running? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, I... let, let's get to the buggy quickly. Yeah, I think I'll still follow after him. I don't want to leave him on his own. Mm. Cool. You get out of the cave, and it takes you a moment to realize that you've got out of the cave because it's quite dark outside. And as you look up, uh, you can kind of see that you are partway through a lunar eclipse. We you hadn't expected a lunar eclipse, eclipse, had we? The kind of burning around what you believe is the Earth, the kind of burning sphere of the sun. Um, yeah, as, as which an is casting a very dim light on the whole expedition. <laughs> um, yeah, w was was a eclipse scheduled? No, thought not. Okay, cool. Mm, cool. And do you um, see Mark yeah. by the buggy? Uh, there is somebody oh. by the buggy. Yes, not Mark. Eric. Sorry, Eric. Eric. I mean, Eric. Moore's heading to the buggy. So does Moore when he gets to the buggy? Is he too panicked to talk to this person or? Um, yes, you are just going to get inside the buggy and kind yeah. of wait in the driver's seat with the fuse thing ready to put the fuse in as soon as it appears for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that we took that fuse out. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it was going to be you? Oh, that was the... Yeah, exactly. Um, as, soon, as soon as I catch up to to the buggy, I'll, I'll start trying to, but 
like and I, I think be, like my mind's going to be torn i'm gonna, like trying to like, focus on that but also like yeah. you were just in that yeah. trying to, to like who are you what we I, yeah I'm, I, it's is things. eric there yes Okay, so I'm gonna. It's so, go so great to see you all. I can't. <sighs> now, we we met someone in the cave who also said they were Eric Flynn Evans. Um, do you mind if I just oh, ask on. your? No, we we need to go. We need to go. First, what's your wife's name? Uh, Helen. We need to go. Come on, let's go. And your five kids? Yeah, he names them all. Okay. Come on, quickly, quickly, we need to go. Parker, give me the fuse. I mean, like, I'm not even waiting for Gilbert. She's, she's, she's already there. working on it. She's already working yeah, on it. Yeah, it's fine. Like, You've sorted it and you can, you cool. can head out. I mean, what, what are you so worried in, about? Are you, got, you, got, you, I think you guys have all got us. We're getting there. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, good, right. Then, I mean, we, we all saw the scary yeah. thing, right? I, what are you talking about, Gilbert? What am I so worried about? <laughs> like, no, no. I, the, the, Oh, Eric, the other why Eric. do we need to? What? What's going on here? What? I like. Can we just go? And I, I, we're already going. <laughs> we'll have three days on the way home to talk about this. Let's Fine. get sure. out. Of here. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> like more has got. As soon as everyone's in, is going. Okay. Well, while while we're in the buggy, um, Hannah's just going to ask. So now that we are on our way back. Do you mind filling us in on what's happened? We got here. Um, I don't know if you know about our previous mission, but we were chosen basically because of that. Uh, we came here to do some experiments with uh, something that Turner had. And do you, do you know where that object went, by the way? Oh, it's probably still in the ship. I don't know or care, frankly. I, I want to get off here. Look, we need. Okay. Look, Mark, Mark is still alive. We we've, we've got to save Dinning if we can. Concerning. Oh. oh. Next oh, level we horror. A, we have a brief interruption, apparently. Um. Um. I yeah. Think. You. You can. You can. You can try and help dinning if you want but i'm not waiting around i mean he's alive i, I just yeah we're not going back like we're not going we're going back to the ship parker i think yeah. it's you know the we've <laughs> we've got eric and so as far as we know well we know that at least there's one other dead, probably two. And if we were trying to go and get, uh, get I'm not going to argue with orders, Captain. Yeah, it's fine. It's just if the object that the other crew had is still in the ship, I I will need to go back to the ship again. Um, Johnny, would I have, like, in hindsight, having now been, like, heard about some sort of object, if I'm thinking back to the little I saw of their ship, is there anything that strikes me as not like ours that it could possibly refer to? Hmm. It was a pretty nippy look around. Make me a look roll. Let's let's do a look roll. That seems sensible. Spot hidden or... Uh, no luck, oh, oh, luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no chance, 87. Okay, uh, then you didn't see anything. Yeah. In that case, I'll just say, I mean, I got, a, I got a bit of a look in, Hannah, and I didn't see anything unusual. It just looked kind of like the same as ours. I don't think there's anything else in there. The object was quite valuable. It probably would have been stored away. I mean, what was it? Uh, it was a instrument. Oh. Um, the, I mean, those all the same instruments that we'd have on our ship. This the, this was special. It, it had been created by a scientist many years ago. Um, I, I assume your crew was meant to do tests using it. Um, 
and um, I'm speaking to Eric. Yeah, I think um, Turner was doing things with it and we were kind of along for the ride, but honestly, somebody else can come back for it. We just, we need to go. But you... surely once we're, once we're back in our ship, it, what's, what's the urgency? What? You, as you are asking that, uh, you feel almost a rumbling. Okay. Like an that earthquake. That would do it. Uh, and I think everybody can have a, a sanity roll, I think, because that's... <laughs> you don't expect tectonic plate shifts on the moon. Yeah, no, no I failed. Not, not good. Okay, Seven, it's just one sanity loss if you fail, just one. I rolled yeah, right. my sanity. Still, still succeeded. Is, is ma matching as a pass? Is that's it? fine, yeah. Yeah, I'm doing poor on the old sanity. Okay, Holly, is Hannah pushing anymore? Yeah. Yeah. No, um, I. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. Firstly, I'm gonna ask Eric. Um, do you know if Simon took the object with him when you all left the shuttle, and did you all leave together? Uh, yeah, we left together, but no, he didn't take it. We left in quite a hurry when uh, okay when he Mark started acting up. Well, it sounds like it definitely will be on the shuttle again. And seeing as we know there's someone in there that we can communicate with, I I would very much like to get back to the shuttle. Justin. Yeah. Can you make me a sanity roll, please? Yeah, go we'll for see it. Yeah, sure. Oh, 98. Yikes. Okay. I have 98 over 32. Andrew is going to unequivocally just refuse. Yeah, I, I was going to do that anyway. Somebody would, but somebody would literally have to knock you out or tie you down to prevent you from driving straight past this ship and home. I'm glad that I'm me forced to role play the choices I'd have made anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I mean, you, I'm just gonna be very curt and go. I this in no way am I going to be any party to any effort to do anything but return to the ship. Eric, did you see us in the cave? What? No. I, ne I never went in the cave. Then where were? Where have you been? You muted, Holly. Oh, um, at what point did you divert from the rest of the group? We were following footprints that went into the cave. <sighs> mm. uh, no, we, we went a different way and covered our tracks. In case of Mark, and then uh, what, what was the, Mark doing that made you so suspicious? And whose footprints were they then? He <laughs> he started saying that um, that um, Olivia and, uh, and and Turner were not who they said they were, um, and then. We all thought he was mad, and then uh, we all left, and um, went to go uh, just find somewhere to hunker down, but not the direction that you guys had gone in. And then... Um, Can you give us a few more specifics on that? Uh, yeah, we went uh, s south, I suppose, from the ship, um, and then uh, passed through a kind of large opening into a another crater and worked our way around the crater wall. Um, but, um, well, I think... You, you say we. Uh, was, was Olivia with you? 
Yeah. Um, and where, where is she now? Well, I, uh, I think Mark may not have been mad after all. Um, the two of them ended up being strange. Uh, I couldn't explain exactly how, but when you just said that you thought I was in that cave, I, uh, well, I don't want somebody pretending to be me. South would have taken you right past our module. Um, well, we, like I said, we hugged the crater wall, so unless you were near the crater wall, I don't suppose we'd have passed that close. And plus we've been out there for what, two, three days now. How, how long would your oxygen have lasted then? Uh, Did we you brought supplies with you? Yes, we brought supplies, yeah. Where did we see tracks leading into the cave then? That must have been them. Who's them? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Why, why, why did Olivia and why did, why did two of you get affected and two of you not? Well, apparently I, affected but i mean the the point is that they must not have been them when they were there so i i don't know what happened to the real olivia and turner I... how do you know we're the real us and you, how do we know you're the real you well i i suppose i don't but um And I suppose you don't. No, I guess not. But would the fake me be... I, d I don't know. I don't know if the fake me would be telling you this. Uh, you're on mute, Justin. I just don't think it's worth spending any time worrying about any of this. I think whatever is happening here, none of us are fully in control of what is happening what we're experiencing yeah agreed we need to get home where things are normal this none we, of this makes sense we have a problem if we can't be certain who's who then taking all of us home no, I agree. This, no, this is this is stupid, right? But there, there is no other them. We're yeah. just we're, we're this is yeah. space. You, you saw you saw the Eric in the cave. Yeah, and I, you know what? I've I've had my days at uni where I've seen some things where I've you know I'm just you know this is, I'm no I'm sorry like there is no them there is no fake people this is we're just getting really worked up because it's black and dark and weird yeah. right we get so there's also no eclipse scheduled at this time yeah and that is just another reason to believe that we are not really experiencing things properly you feel another rumble see <laughs> moonquakes are also generally less violent than that yeah do you know what? I, I have no idea what a mean quake is meant to feel like. I yeah. know I know what I know what Earth feels like under my feet. You pass the other vehicle and turn to go towards your vehicle. Pa as in past the other the landing the lunar lunar module yeah. type thing. Yeah, yeah, cool. As as we get close, mm -hmm. and it's probably going to say, Andrew, please stop and allow me mm -hmm. to get out. Mm -hmm. You can keep going if you want to, mm -hmm. but please allow me to get out. No. 
will be my first answer. But I'm willing to be persuaded. From, <laughs> like, in my, you know, I think uh, an argument can be made for it. But my initial reaction is no, that's a terrible idea. You're also still in the literally as soon as possible get me yeah. off this rock. So yeah. even stopping to let somebody out is yeah. a no no. We can come back to items, right? Objects don't matter. Yeah. I wish we could help Mark. We are. I mean, we we could well be dooming Mark if we leave. He's. I really feel the same way. He's. He. I'm not sure it's quite fair to say he saved my life, but he certainly didn't do me any harm. But he. I don't think he's going to come with us willingly. And he. He was. He was adamant that it's better for him to be in there. I. Engage I don't with know him at all is a risk. Every I don't time think he we. Uh, safely. Yeah. I don't know how much he's got in terms of supplies. I don't know. If maybe maybe we can get home and get somebody else sent out immediately who can get here in time, who's going to be better equipped to deal with that exact situation. Find some way I mean, to, to neutralize him and bring him with. Get him home can we? Can we leave? Uh, he won't be able to get out, will he? We could leave him some supplies. Take some from our ship and... He, he was wearing a suit by... From from what? Yeah. Yeah, but if that saying. airlock's compromised, then uh, well, I guess as long as he's in a suit. Oh, you're, you're on mute. Johnny. More comms issues here, Johnny. <laughs> you, yeah, you are well past that ship now. Yeah. So it would be a case of turning around and going back, which Andrew is not going to do. Okay. No, that's okay. I don't. End, I don't mind you entertaining your hypothetical discussions, but <laughs> I make myself mm. quite clear. Okay. If nobody else has anything, you get back to the ship. Great. Does our ship look normal as we approach? Yes. Are, are there two of them? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to load up the the the, the buggy at all, or? Theoretically, yes. Is Andrew going to do that? No. Parker might start doing that stuff unless she is otherwise ordered not to. She'll, she will start no, no, to I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. So Andrew will literally get on and begin the ignition sequence. Jeez. It will take time to do that, though. Like, it's not it's not super... Yeah. You, you have a couple of minutes, but he... Like, if you're outside, he's going. Can I try and talk him down? Can I try and not... sort of... I was going to say, he's not explicitly said that, though, right? Like, I mean, basically, Parker is just on doing the correct thing. I have not explicitly said that. Training. That is correct. No. We haven't explicitly said that, and he hasn't said, yeah. you know, stop doing that, get in yeah, the okay. ship, leaving right now. Like, I think, I think, it, no it, it, think, I think it, if there was a point where if Parker was not inside by a certain point, I would be, you know, I, I would know that she wouldn't make it in on time. I would let her know. Yes. That, and does it that, normally it, take more than one person to unload this stuff as well? Like, essentially, I guess my expectation is probably that more would help. So there might be a bit of a, an offhand, like, oh, thanks for the hand kind of comment. But other than that, like, she'd probably just crack on. Yeah, Andrew can say stuff if it doesn't slow him down, but he is on fastest path off the moon. So if it's a case of you're flicking switches and saying, I'm leaving in a minute, then that's fine. But, like, you will go once it's ready to go. Yeah, okay. Then I will communicate this to, to Parker, yeah. but probably to Parker alone. And to the rest of them, I will say, get on board. <laughs> you too, Eric. In that case, if, if she gets any signal like that, she will just drop it and get on. Confused, I might question, challenge it, but she will drop things and get on. Yeah. Uh, in which case, I'm just going to turn to Gilman and just say, I don't think we can leave right now. Did you say you're going to try and diffuse me a little bit, Steve? I, if I can, yes. Uh, make me a psychoanalysis roll, Steve. Okay. I have 30% in this, so... I'd, I'd, I'd like to assist as well if this goes oh, poorly. Cause I'm no there. need. I rolled a five. Hey, okay. nice. Um, okay. You do manage to bring him down a little um so that now he is less sort of single-minded about it 
but is still terrified to the point of wanting to do it as quickly as possible. He wouldn't necessarily leave somebody now, but he is still like, we need to go. <laughs> yes, Justin? I think I think that a very conducive argument to Moore would be that he's not in a, a fit state to, look, to, to fly yes. a spaceship. Yeah. You need to focus. And you need to calm I down. need to be calmer to do this. And I think that kind of logic, would, you know, I think that that would be something. Yeah. Would be amenable to. Yeah. Right. Well, we're all in now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've just... That's... I am... This is not n normal. So... No, it, it, it isn't normal. You are, you are correct. But... I... I don't think we can leave right now. We... I don't see a way of saving Mark because he is dangerous and anyone who attempts to go near him is at risk of becoming injured and I will not throw more and more people at that problem and let each one of them get into a situation where their safety is jeopardised. I don't think there's a way of engaging with him that is safe. Not until we wait him out and he becomes too feeble or thirsty or anything for us to over to be easily overpowered or he decides to come out of his own accord we don't know how long that would take whereas if we can get somebody else back here within the week how how long does it there. how long does it take what's what's the buggy journey time between the ship and the it's like 10 minutes or something wasn't it to the, to the, on the ship you and there yeah it's about 10 minutes yeah how long would it take walking mm. An hour. Okay. <laughs> I I assume that all the, have you stopped like actually preparing for takeoff? I think I, I think like I am the, having the sh the ship in a state of not like imminent readiness, but I am like I am planning on on launch on on leaving soon. <sighs> Look. 20 minutes is all it will take to, to we could go back there on the buggy drop some supplies off just one last attempt to get Mark to see reason I can, well look we're here now I think that it's a reasonable time to check in with UK base and see what they want to do moving forward with this because they will, if they, they will know whether they are ever going to send another rescue mission, and if there is not going to be another rescue mission, then there is no need to drop supplies off. Okay, let's let, let's try and contact UK base. Hannah definitely thinks that we aren't going to be able to contact anyone. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, try and contact UK base, and I'm my I'm I'm going to do the contacting. Uh, and uh, yeah, can we trust you there in your irrelevant Gilman? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Are you, have you completed the mission? <sighs> Not exactly, there have been complications. Go on. So, we've recovered Eric Flynn Evans. Mark Dinning, we think is too oh, it's too dangerous to recover. Was it the, was the body of um, was it of Simon Turner that we found? Sam, Simon Turner's body yeah. was found Simon, but not recovered. Yeah. Simon Turner's body is, uh, as we have said, has been found. And uh, did he have anything with him? Any of them have anything with them? No, no. I well, suspect that my mission. Uh, the, the object is located in the shuttle still. I think it was left by Simon yeah. before he left. I see. Which means that Mark Denning is there with the object. So mm. realistically... I an issue, but... Yeah. I mean, I think that the options for saving Mark, which I think is the only one... Uh, Olivia may still be out there, but there is no way to... 
to there's there's I don't think that we're going to have any luck finding her. What we think hmm. maybe happened is that she's fallen in some kind of very strange uh, geological event that's occurring beneath the lunar surface surface. But I can't honestly say that any of us really understood what was going on. I think that maybe it had some kind of psychological impact. I don't think yeah. any of us really um, understood what was going on. I'm I'm gonna send all the pictures that I took. Yeah. Um, I'm, just, you, I'm I'm sending yeah. you the files now. Yeah. You can have a look at this and see what you think of it, but um, well, oh, well we've lost base. <laughs> that was so. That was on the back. That's it. You're <laughs> done. Like you're gone. Yeah. You're gone. You're done. Oh but, my uh, yeah. god. <laughs> oh, shall I add him back in? I guess I should. There we go. So um, yeah. So we send the pictures and we go. I basically go. You're free to interpret whatever you can see there. But from our perspective, it all looked really unusual. Whatever it is, it seemed like maybe Olivia had fallen into whatever that. I do. I guess all we could look at it to describe it almost like a sea, but I don't think we can recover her from there. And so with Eric here and Mark, the only options I think are to wait him out or to try and make him see reason, but that I think is going to be very difficult. He is very dangerous. Hmm. Advice on how to proceed would be uh, much appreciated. Um, I'm just about ready to leave. Now that you have made contact with him in the first instance, perhaps it's worth trying the radios again. That way, maybe you could speak to him without having to go over there and assess whether or not you think it will be possible to get him to come with you. That's, that's true. Items are always recoverable. As much as there is additional cost involved, it's better to get the people home if we can. Eric, are you, uh, are you okay? Eric says, uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Good. Yes, obviously we would like Mark home, but mm. if he has suffered some... The safety of those who can be ensured safety is is paramount. If, if the, the five of you can be home in one piece, then let's do that. Okay. Well, we'll keep trying, and uh, we're back in contact before we decide, before we make any decision to leave. Very good. Thanks. Over and out. Well, you all heard. <laughs> Sounds like we need to make radio contact. Well, uh, with permission, sir, I'd like to try speaking to him again. I'll be familiar voice. Yeah, I think that's doable. I'm going to... I think... Uh, Sam, just you need to work out what's what how best to move forward to this. I need to lie down, I think. Right. And yeah, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna like take my headset off and all that other stuff and just like I'm just gonna go yeah. and grab some food, have some chocolates and yeah. um, <laughs> and like just crash like try and maybe even catch half an hour of sleep or something. Are there any any drugs or things that we have with us that would, yeah. that would potentially help uh, stabilize? Uh, yes, you could have um, sort of a maybe like an anti-anxiety med kind of thing. That seems I'll, I'll, entirely sensible. I'll get some of those from uh, from stores and uh, hand them over. Cool. Hopefully, these will help. Thanks. I I really think, Gilman, that all of us have had some traumatic event happen here, and it's not just me that is going to be feeling the effects of it. You might be right, but uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm happy to. What we've seen. Happy to take my take my medicine. Uh, Sam will do what she needs to do to radio across the other shuttle. Try and make contact. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mark. It's it's Sam Parker here. We spoke earlier. Um, I'm hope I hope you can hear me. I'm radioing across back from the ship, uh, from our ship. We're, we're ready to go home. We want to check in again to see if there's any chance you, you want to come with us. I uh, told you before, you'd know it's me. It's my dog's name, Seymour. 
back home. Um, I, hope, I hope you can trust us and I hope there's something we can do to help you. Um, we really want to bring you home safely. Um, we can get you in the shuttle in a, uh, we can get you in the buggy in about 10 or 15 minutes if you give us word that, that you'll come with us so you can come home safe and sound. Uh, a few seconds passes and then you just hear it <laughs> go and that's all i'll go and make, uh, let more know what happened ask him if he wants the food i'll radio in again today we can we can come across and, and leave any supplies uh do you want us to do that we won't approach if you don't want us to, but we can leave you some supplies. Uh, again, a second and then leave it there. I'll go for a walk. Okay. Goodbye, Mark. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'll relay to more and the others and just say, look, he's just told us to leave, leave something here. And when we're gone, he's got, he'll come, he'll come for it. Let's do that then. I mean, well, you know, we've got, we, we've had enough food here to, to, you know, for an extra, you know, how many people. So just do the calculations and leave him plenty. Um, I, what I might do is I'll load things up onto the buggy that never got properly loaded back up onto the ship. And then just do one whenever we've unloaded things. Do one last comes out to say I've left it on the buggy. You can use that to come to take it back. What What was Mark's special? Like, what was his? What was he? What was his role on the board? He was a nurse. Yeah, he was medical. Cool. Hmm. Cool. Well, if he if he's not he's not an engineer, so I, there's no point leaving him anything to try and do any more repairs on his ship. Like I, I'll give, we'll give him a bar of chocolate. <laughs> Could take that. Yeah. <laughs> Have one of those. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just about ready to get going. Cool. You set this off. Doesn't feel right. Yeah, I I I feel bad leaving, and mm -hmm. I think there's more to do here. But mm -hmm. like the yeah, the marshal said, we can come back. We can come back. We've had our orders. I don't see Olivia. I don't. You know, the only thing that I, I'm, my concern is about is Olivia. Um, it's definitely not ideal to be stranded for another week or two out here. But we know that. Uh, the communication systems that Mark has access to means he can get in contact with UK base anytime he wants. And he has enough food now to last a long time. <sighs> a different group that is prepared for doing the kind of expedition that you would need to do down there can come back there and deal with that if if that's what UK base wants. But personally, I hope that... Oh, never mind. Let's get going. You set off. Um, ignition sequence goes fine. You spend the three days uh, travel back home. Um, it's all just fine. It's like three days. Probably, probably quite somber. I might, if at all possible, during those three days. Would it be at all possible to get a message back to base without the others hearing it? You could certainly do a like a typed message. Okay. Um, I will send a message that indicates um, there's a risk of contamination. Uh, we should be quarantined and kept under under observation. There's something strange. Can't describe it, but yeah. Um, we might have been compromised in some way. Okay. From chatting to Eric, does he reveal anything else? You know, having said, oh, we'll have time to talk about it on the on the trip home. 
does he actually not really anything else because you kind of pressed him in the buggy there's not that much more information that he can give he basically spent two days alone out there fearing that whatever these things that he thinks were there were going to come and get him um so he's he's pretty tired um he does actually spend quite a lot of the flight back snoozing because he's been awake a lot and kind of on guard um yeah go on justin how long does the lunar eclipse persist for because we're flying directly from the moon to the earth which is still uh, like like sun. minutes it was kind of coincidence right. that you were outside oh. at the point that it was at full coincidence sure yeah. <laughs> um so you get back um and you are immediately put into observation for a week good um however before that you are given kind of a hero's welcome having rescued th this is the first lunar rescue right you've gone you've gone to another celestial body and you have rescued somebody and brought them home and they would have just perished there so you are given you know a pretty pretty sizable welcome home um there are pictures taken um which go in the papers um but then following that you are basically kept in a sort of medical facility for a few days um under the guise of you know just observation but obviously alex is aware of of why um and then after this uh observation period you are free to go and um when you get home and you look at the paper and read the article that's about you, you look at the picture and Sam Parker's smile doesn't look quite right. And that's it. Fun times. Cool. Fun times. Oh dear. Cool. cool. <laughs> I was trying to think. There's like the whole time I was like, I, I was like, oh, but there's not any point where we've been separated at all. And I was like, oh, apart from Sam and all this shit. But when you said that, I was like, that's the only time we've been separated. Sam was at the back and failed a listen test. Oh dear. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, I did. Very enjoyable. <laughs> um, I, I, I kept being like, I kept being like, this is going too well. This is <laughs> not my car, like you know. All happening too well. Great, we can succeed, and it's still a massive catastrophe waiting to happen. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody uh, for watching and commenting and stuff during the uh, the stream. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them in, and we can uh, discuss and answer those. Um, I, I just about the idea for this. I came up with the idea uh, for like the the crew from the previous story being like a failed moon mission then um i listened to a podcast and was like i really want to do a kind of like body snatchers -y kind of thing um because the this podcast that i listen to does that then the the kind of moon sea is actually a short prosy poem thing by hp lovecraft um mm. called what the moon brings and it's uh, a dream sequency thing so the the uh, lotus sea thing with the city in and the black basalt crown that's all from that prosy See, thing that, interesting that's one like i haven't that. that's one i haven't actually read so i hadn't but I was like kind of Googling I like things to put in as ideas and this thing came up and I was like, oh, that'll do. That's that's a bang on <laughs> idea for something. Uh, um, boys just like, pay no attention to this mysterious sea. I did have a fear for the moment, like at the end of the, the last arc of, uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, Balamor, where you ended up revealing that everything was real. I did have a slight concern that you were going to say, oh, yes, the internal sea in the moon, that's real. Um, <laughs> so. But only I know about it. <laughs> oh, amazing. God, yeah. that's fun. That obviously very very strong the thing vibes towards the end which is one of my absolute all-time favorite movies um, yeah. we, we're, we're not 
we're not. I know you're, you're just not going to answer, are you, Johnny? But is is Eric legit? Um, Which, yes, is Eric is. Eric is legit. Which one yeah. though? The one that you brought home. Okay, that's better than yeah. I thought. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 yeah, no, fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy. Um, so in so in 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 my mind, right, the real Olivia went into the cave mm -hmm. with the fake Eric mm -hmm. and the real Simon Turner. Um, they both then became convinced that Simon Turner was, well, no, Simon Turner started kind of attacking them, so that was fine. And then um, Olivia saw the thing, the creature, and was drawn towards it, essentially, um, and just wandered into the, yeah. the city of the dead. I, I I have essentially based this all on my uh, like like the kind of training you, the kind of training you do when you think about uh, like diving safety and all that kind of stuff like that and and, and just being like you know having like, like the complete skepticism over your ability to do things and just be like <laughs> it's like you, assuming that I am not competent to handle any of this situation what is the yeah. thing to do yeah nitrogen narcosis is uh, is a pretty scary thing. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, like people trying to remove their face masks underwater, it it can get really quite bad. I think from uh, the training I had years ago. Any fun questions or comments, Steve? Uh, let's have a look. Um, I like this one near the start. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stayed do... purposefully silent for a good few seconds there. Yeah, you do a great inscrutable face when it comes to. Uh, <laughs> Um, that's fun. But I, yeah, I, I, I was, yeah. <laughs> it's possible. I do, I do wonder what our yes UK based technology, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, looks like how long it lasts. I, love, uh, I, just there... love, I just love some of the decisions that UK based makes about how it like delegates authority and. I communicate with, with astronauts. It's all just like, yeah, why, why the fuck not? Like, you know, like, so, so that it it makes for a really easy GM experience to be like, these people are incompetent. So if I say something that doesn't make sense, it's fine because it's just that like they would say things that don't make sense. Yeah, I mean, they they basically sent out for a rescue mission a crew of people who've never actually been to space before, rather than people who have. <laughs> like, but that you know, are there reasons for that that are actually in the back? Yeah, like you all have purpose for being there, and also, you know, yeah. Are UK based? I'm say anything in case there's more UK based shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I, I really liked the um, the uh, dynamics. <laughs> And um, Andrew, where it's like, oh, I, I trust the, yeah, like, like, you know, just, yeah, go with the, whatever they say, like, you know, just follow the <laughs> water. Anyway. And finally, I'll, uh, yeah, this one. Um, <laughs> I, I did wonder whether you were like, whether you were like, oh, they're going to spend ages what, thinking about this door, or whether you were like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I wonder if you thought of the, of the whole, Worry about decompression. I mean, thing. Honestly, I just was like, nobody's going to go in there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was like, if, if they bang on the door, Mark will tell them to F off and then they'll leave because he sounds like an insane person when he starts babbling about people not really being themselves. But um, you didn't. And that's fine. That's what, that's mm. what it's all about. I thought we did bang that's on the door. It's We'd... not. It's not. Ju it's not just my story, then, is it? That's good because I wouldn't have had. Yeah, he wouldn't have gone in. That's fine. So that's good. Yeah, excellent. I was pretty close to just blowing the door off, and, and, and like you know. Wow, <laughs> that's one way of solving the problem, I guess. That was really good. That was really fun. That was really good. Thanks, everyone. There may be more in future. <laughs> A series just, of, of rescue missions, one after the other. It's only three months today until the events of the Long Silent Night actually happen. Oh, blimey. Mm. Ooh, In actually, real life. So you said Sam is not no longer Sam. 
it does that mean real Sam is somewhere still back in the cave? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised even, even, Simon Turner's functional given that uh, at the end of the last one, spoilers, um, he took significant sand damage. But was he really ever functional or is he well, being used for something? Who knows what the real behind the scenes reasons are for the mm. things that are going on? Only but maybe Johnny, but maybe not even Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dice, the dice. Some, sometimes I think I do, and then one of you will do something, and I'll be like, oh, I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is always the risk. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a good GM quote. Mm. <laughs> cool. Indeed. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, so yeah, follow us on all the links below. Come join us on Discord and have a chat. Um, we have loads of back catalog stuff on YouTube and uh, we have Simba Room on Wednesdays and in a couple of weeks we'll be starting Basin Mythic Britain on Mondays and that's going to be fun. Looking uh, forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be good. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.